The River That Gave Gifts by Margot Humphrey In a house on the side of a country meadow there lived a girl named Yanaba. She was a beautiful dark brown child who found it difficult to make things with her hands. But she thought about many things and what her hands could not create, her mind could. Her nearby friends were Rond, Kenji and Jay. They had played together all their lives and they had one special thing in common. They all loved Nima, the wise old woman of the town, who had always listened to them and answered their questions. The children knew that Nima loved colours because of the fine quilts that she made. They also knew that her eyes were growing dim, so they decided they would each give her something that showed their love before the time came when she would not be able to see. Jay looked through the colourful buttons in her old button jar and found some that her grandmother had given her. They were worn with age and all golden on the edges like the setting sun. Jay chose the loveliest buttons of all and strung them on a chain for Nima. Kenji made ribbon bows from bits and pieces of bright cloth that she found in her mother's sewing box. She cut and put them together just so, for Kenji cared very much for Nima. Rond built a box to hold all of Nima's precious things. He carefully chose each piece of wood. He fitted the pieces together and made a handle so that the box would be easy for Nima to carry. Then he polished the box until it shone with all the love he had put into making it. While Jay, Kenji and Arond were working on their gifts, Yanova went to her favourite place to think about what she could give Nima. She sat down beside the river which flowed through her yard. What should the present be? she asked herself. Should it be large or small? And most importantly, what does Nima need the most? It was quiet and peaceful. The river sparkled ever so brightly from the sun. It was as if someone had thrown diamonds upon the water as it flowed by. Soon the river began to whisper, Take me into your hands. Take me into your hands. The murmur of the river began to send her into a peaceful sleep. The river was old and wise with the wisdom of the ancient ones. The river knew the gift that Yanova should give Nima the Elder. As Yanova slept, the river murmured over and over, Take me into your hands. Take me into your hands. When Yanova awoke, it was night time and she knew that the river had given her the answer. She knelt at the water's edge to refresh herself after her nap. As she washed her hands, she began to see rays of light flying off her fingers. Can this be? she said. The harder she rubbed, the brighter the light became. The river whispered, You, Yanaba, beautiful black child, have the gift of light. Let me show you. Hold out your hands. She held out her hands, and the light streaming from her fingers changed into different colours. From her thumbs came the colour red, the colour of happiness. From her first fingers came the colour yellow, the colour of the sun, which is the soul of all living things. From her second fingers came the colour green, the colour of life. From her third fingers came the colour blue, the colour of birth and water, and from her little fingers came the colour violet, the colour of royalty. The day finally arrived for the presentation of Nima's gifts. First to enter the dimly littered room was Arond, who presented the box he had made. It was a beautiful box. But Nima could barely see it. Thank you, she said. Next came Kenji, with her ribbon bows woven together into a colourful piece to 
to hang on the wall. Then came Jay with her old buttons strung on an elephant chain. But it was difficult for Nima to see these gifts in the dim light of the room. At last came Yanova, who had waited patiently while the others presented their gifts. She kissed Nima on the forehead and asked politely, Now may I present my gift? Nima nodded. Yanova reached into her bag and took out a jar of river water. Carefully she removed the lid and poured the water into her hands as the ancient river had told her to do. Then she rubbed her hands together and the right rays began to form just as they had by the river's edge. Yanova stood with her hands extended as the colours of the rainbow flowed from her fingers. The dark room was transformed into a vision of colour and Nima could see. Nima could see! Now Nima could see all of her presence because of Yanova's special gift, the gift of light. And there was no need for any more work.